Hey, what's up? This is Hunter with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking about planning for growth with MSP revenue modeling. Now, this uh, is something that you should think about with your MSP um, if you want to be more purposeful with your growth and get a little bit better feel for what uh, an investment in your MSP's future may look like. Uh, I think one of the hardest things MSPs have uh, to do when it comes to like actually making those investments in sales and marketing is like you know know what the plan is like because that reduces a lot of the anxiety uh, with you know making those investments and um, you know just kind of understanding like what ROI looks like and you know just increasing those confidence levels and like uh, running the business and growing it in a more purposeful way rather than just like we need to generate more leads you know something like that all right so I've come over here to a spreadsheet that I created that is available on our website website for download and it's our MSP growth model um, and before I kind of like dive into some of the like numbers I want to talk about a couple of assumptions and just like what an M overall MSP business might look like um, you know before um, you know diving in a little bit more so a couple of those assumptions are that your MSP has at least a 40% gross margin um, and that you know what that means is basically like if you look at like a uh, service business and this is not necessarily specific to the MSP space but a, a healthy service business should look something like this where you've got 60% of your revenue that's going back into operating the business um, so that's all your labor your software expenses all the costs that it are associated with delivering your services as your you know as your MSP um, you know less is better but uh, you know across service businesses that are healthy and sustainable having you know no more than a 60% um, operation kind of expense base is is healthy which means you have a 40% gross margin on your services um, the remaining 40% of your kind of revenue composition um, you know should be a 10% of your revenue going to like overhead so you're building your leasing uh, office space uh, fi those fixed overhead costs um, and then another 10% is going to that selling general and administrative, um, which is where your sales team and your marketing expenses are coming out of. Um, and then the rest of that should be your, you know, 20% sort of target profit margin. Um, you know, but you know, averages in the MSP space are between you know 10 and 20% for a profit margin. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about kind of profit margins for a, you know specific companies. Um, in a little bit and then uh, another kind of assumption that you know we'll be like using in this video is that a sales and marketing ROI is 10% or is uh, 2 to 1 so if you make a 10% of your revenue investment in sales and marketing then you can generate 20% growth off of that uh, you know 10% investment um, so now let's kind of come back up here um, and kind of we're going to plug into our spreadsheet here a revenue baseline and then a desired growth rate um, and you know one thing I kind of just want to point out to start with is a 15% a desired growth rate will roughly equate to doubling the size of your MSP in five years um, so you know depending on where you're at that may that may be good or that might not be good um, so, you know, I'm kind of starting out here with a revenue baseline of like a 500k type MSP and uh, a desired growth rate of 15%. That'll only get you to a million dollars in revenue in five years. And, you know, with a, thinking about your you know, profit margins and your owner benefits, like you're really still not making a ton of money as a business owner at a million dollars in revenue. I mean, you ha you have a comfortable life, but you're not necessarily making a, a ton of money and you're not really giving yourself a great multiple when it comes time to sell your MSP. Um, so, you know, I would want to more or less double this growth rate. Um, I think a lot of, uh, you know, 500K type MSP owners might agree and get more to like a 2 million type revenue. 
and that will get you uh, there in around five years if you're growing at a 30% growth rate for your MSP as a with a 500k revenue baseline. Um, but um, if we look at that, you know, it's, so if we want to get like a a 30% growth rate or even a 40% growth rate, um, you know, that assumes that we need to spend 20% of our revenue on kind of um, sales and marketing and expenses. Um, and where is that 20% going to kind of come out of? If we have this 60% operating expenses and we have this 10% overhead, those are really not like necessarily changeable costs. You know, you need to spend that money regardless of how the business is doing to deliver services to your customers and that overhead cost that you have to, you know, have for your, um, you know, leasing and things like that. So you really have to pull that money out of your profit margin. Um, so for a smaller company that wants to grow, you know, like 40% and get to a two or $3 million business in a, a shorter time frame, um, then you might have to spend 20% of your revenue, which means you're gonna have lower profit. Uh, it's just kinda, you know, rip the Band-Aid off. Um, but that will help get you to your, uh, you know, desired kinda revenue targets more quickly. Um, and, you know, that might look like a combined sales and marketing spend for a five hundred thousand dollar company. Uh, you know, kind of within the spreadsheet, that, you know, there's these numbers with like a ten year outlook, um, but that might require you to spend eight thousand dollars a month on sales and marketing, uh, which sounds like a lot. But you know, if you want to reach your goals, you might have to do that. You know, if you're a larger MSP and you're at that kind of two million sort of range. Um, Uh, then you might only want like a 20% sort of growth rate and um, you know that's only gonna require you to spend 10% of your revenue on sales and marketing you can maintain your 20% target profit margin um, and still be growing at a nice clip and then you're only spending kind of $16,000 a month on sales and marketing um, but you know just I just kind of wanted to like illustrate that like smaller companies are going to have to take less part profit and grow at a faster rate if they want to hit like those uh, revenue goals in a shorter time frame. Because most people take a look at a 10 year timeline and they're like, wow, that's just like too long. Like who knows if I even want to be still running my MSP in 10 years. Like this is such a grind at, you know, that 500K sort of level. Um, but, uh, you know, it also, you know, my aim with this kind of spreadsheet is also to just kind of give you a little bit of like clarity in your planning. Um, so, you know, if, if you're like a $2 million MSP and you want to sell, you know, in a three to five year time fr frame, you really want to get to more of like this $5 million in revenue level um, with that like, you know, 20% sort of EBITDA. And that will allow you to get a, a really nice like um, multiple when you go to sell your MSP. Um, but you need to be like looking at your uh, sales and marketing spend and, you know, tracking your ROI over the, that five year period to make sure that you're hitting your goals. I mean, a lot of MSPs just don't spend enough on sales and marketing. Um, and that's because they either have their expenses too high or their overheads too high, or they're just being too greedy on the profit side. Um, and you know, if you want to take, you know, all the money out of the business um, in profit, you know, that is is what it is, but you're probably just not gonna be growing as fast as you'd like to. And if you wanna grow faster, um, you know, you're going to have to take a little less profit and spend more on sales and marketing if you want to maintain a healthy business. But just keep in mind that when you're growing the business, the size of the pie overall is growing. So like a lower profit margin with a bigger company is going, you know, can equate to roughly similar earnings. Um, so, you know, if you've downloaded this spreadsheet off the website, I just kind of wanted to add some commentary in there um, for you to... Uh, you know, see, you can plug in your revenue baseline and your desired growth rate and kind of get um, some visibility into these figures, you know, where you can kind of see like what your, you know, revenue growth might look like at whatever your desired growth rate is. Just bear in mind that whatever your growth rate, we're assuming that you're spending, you know, half of that on sales and marketing. 
um, and then you know this will give you your target sales and marketing spins and then those are converted to a monthly basis um, so take a look at the spreadsheet uh, let me know what your thoughts in the comments are below and hope you enjoyed this video again I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hair Software and thanks for watching